up, YouTube? Every Jackal up here, Rob Ricks. This is a story time for you. So when I was young, I wanted to be... I had dreams of being a rock star. I wanted to, you know, make music and things like that. When I was young, though, I didn't like to party. I didn't like drinking or anything else. So a lot of times I'd get in bands and, you know, they would want to chase girls and get drunk and all that. And I was really focused on trying to get music done. And so I'd end up getting kicked out of the band because that was too serious and kind of a buzz kill, whatever. But uh, it never stopped me from kind of having a futuristic rocker look that I, I would wear, you know. So as I got older, I found a pair of leather pants that were really fucking cool. And they weren't tight pants. They were like baggy cargo style leather pants. And um, they were expensive as shit, but I fucking loved it. You know, I liked it. You know, it had that rocker feel to it. And I had uh, I had done some stuff with my hair and my piercings and the tattoos and stuff. And, you know, and I thought it was cool as shit. <laughs> I, I thought it was cool. And so I went on a couple of dates. And when I went on dates, I'd rock the leather. And I was like, check me out. I'm a rock god. A motherfucking rock god. And it's funny because my own perception of myself was a certain way, but the way other people were perceiving me was substantially different, okay? So I was getting hollered at like crazy from gay dudes. And I was like, oh, man, what the fuck? You know, this is, you know, every so often I'd go into a spot and they'd say, oh, what band do you play with? You know, and it worked. The look worked. But to another segment of people, they thought I was fucking gay. And that fucking killed me i was like are you fucking serious i dropped like 300 dollars for these fucking pants they're not skin tight pants you know they're baggy you know lots of pockets it's cool fucking pants you know but there were some people that just thought oh you must be gay and that fucking was like wow all right well whatever so i met my my wife and i had um as some of you know some of my viewers know from previous episodes i had my nipples pierced right and so we, we were sitting there after we hooked up and we were together for a little while. And she asked me, oh, are you bisexual? I'm like, no, I have no desire to be with a man, but I have all the desire in the world to be with a woman. You know, she's like, oh, that's funny. I thought you were. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, why? She said, oh, you know, the pants, this, the piercings. And I was like, what the fuck? So anyway, that... <laughs> That really drove me nuts. And so, you know, I had an infection on one of my nipples. I took it out. I had one nipple ring. She said, oh, you know, one looks gay. So, boom, I popped that out. And, uh, you know, it was just funny that sometimes the way you think you are, the way you think you're portraying yourself can actually backfire on you. And so I learned as time went on, because of the way that I look, I, I started realizing, especially when we moved here to Utah, People would look at me and they'd have this preconceived notion that I was this fucking thuggy asshole or something. You know what I mean? Um, I don't sport the leather pants or anything like that anymore. More now it's like tactical type stuff. You've seen some of the jackets that I wear and things like that. And, you know, obviously I walk around with this and people are like, what the fuck is that? But what I finally realized is uh, I really don't give a flying fuck what anybody thinks anymore. I don't. I just... I'm old now and I just don't give a shit. And I, and I wish I had learned that lesson as a young person. I try to push that to my kids. It's like, be you. You be you. Fuck everybody else. Whatever you're comfortable doing, whatever you're comfortable wearing, have your own fucking style and just tell everybody else to eat a big, fat, hairy dick. So, you know, I look the way I look now. I've got tattoos. You know, uh, anybody who gives a flying fuck about society and wants to have a meaningful conversation with me after a couple of minutes they realize you know what this dude's not some schizo fucking nut job you know some psycho fucking crazy guy i do a lot of crazy things but most of that is for entertainment and to blow off steam and just to entertain you guys i mean that's really what it's all about but at the end of the day what you see is what you get this is me and if you ever see me at a show or you see me on the street and we start talking you'll be like it's the same motherfucker it's not an act it's not me portraying uh, something that I'm not. Even the, the characters, Steve, Damien, and uh, Randy, 
those are extensions of my personality. Those are kind of like my subconscious um, voices, if you will, that kind of guide me through life. And um, there's probably two other characters that are floating around in there too that I don't bring out that are just me, just my personal thing that I don't share with anybody. Um, and some of the, one side is the darkest of dark. And um, anybody who's ever gotten in conflict with me or seen me when I flip the fuck out knows it instantly. My, my children have seen it a couple of times and um, it's scary. I mean, we all have it, but I keep mine pretty much under control. And the other one is, you know, a very private, personal, spiritual side that I don't really share with anybody. It's my own, my own real core um, soul piece, I guess. So anyway, the, the nature of this particular video here is you guys need to just be you, right? Don't. Don't let society dictate to you how you should be. Don't let your friends dictate. You know, if you like something and it's something you're drawn to and you really enjoy it, fuck them. That's your shit. You know, just enjoy it. So that's it for this video. I just kind of had a, uh, a little bit of a story that turned into kind of a quasi uh, subdued rant. So hope you guys like it. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell all your friends. Until next time.